Hi guys, this is my first YouTube review and I'm reviewing the Netgear DGND 3700 combined ADSL modem and wireless router and this is going to be put up against my existing router which is a router on its own it's the Linksys Cisco WRT610N they are both simultaneous dual band N routers and just going to test and show you the stability of this Netgear router and it's relatively well priced at the moment because it's been on the market for about a year and a half and it can be had here in Australia anywhere between about $140 to $180 which is pretty reasonable considering what it can do it doesn't have a lot of advanced features uh, it's pretty basic in the sense that it doesn't give you a lot of inside advanced features to play around with but for most home users it's pretty good and if you don't mind my little daughter making a lot of noise we'll show you just how stable this router is and how it actually outperforms the Cisco router significantly right so the test machine we're using to assess this router is a Dell Latitude E4300 which is a business grade laptop from Dell and it uses the Intel 5300 AGN card in it to provide a relatively good signal strength and I have another laptop running a Broadcom uh, single band not a dual band card and the results aren't as good but they still highlight the fact that the Netgear outperforms the Cisco in almost every aspect and you can see on this timeline graph that the Netgear is the light blue line and the Cisco Linksys is the one directly under it, the green line don't know how good that comes through on the video but what struck me as the most impressive thing was even though we're right next to the routers at the moment the at distance the Neki seems to have a much more stable and much more consistent connection and you might notice that when you are sitting in front of a router or in front of a computer on a wireless connection how sometimes they can get jittery and give you a unstable connection whereas if you have a look now we're about we're about 8 meters to 10 meters away from the router and we'll just just take a look at how consistent the router will be and you can see it's already doing much much better than the Cisco router and as you can see on the graph it's just starting to plateau and it's starting to give us a nice steady stream of connection and that's sitting at minus 40 dB at the moment which is pretty good if you have a look at the, the Linksys Cisco it's very jittery up and down up and down up and down and that's not good because your, uh, your connection speed will just continually go from four to five bars five bars down to four three um, and it, it really makes for a frustrating uh, if you're streaming uh, video or if you're transferring large files but you can see how consistent that Netgear modem is uh, at the moment with its, uh, its Wi-Fi coverage. It is going through several walls plus the brick walls. The router is actually at the very front of the house, which is not ideal. Uh, it actually might be even more than 20. It could be about 25 meters. And if we have a look at that graph again, we can see that again the Netgear is providing me now with a consistent speed and uh, amplitude rating and sitting there at minus 80 dB which is still giving me three bars out of five and uh, the Linksys is struggling it's getting up to the 90s um, and not just that it's very inconsistent it's, it's up it's down and the uh, the neck here is doing a very good job so guys this is my first review and I hope it's been a good one, an informative one, because as far as I'm concerned, one of the most frustrating things 
uh, in a home environment is the reliability of a wireless network and the Netgear DGND 3700 seems to tick all the right boxes especially for the price and its stable Wi-Fi connection thanks for watching and hope to provide you with more and better reviews shortly thank you